drip grinding away the coffee for today whoa hey hey everybody i'm tyson this is faithfully bearded and today i have a review for usabeards.com i don't really think the company is usabeards.com i think that's their website i think the company is just called USA Beards. let's see no, I think it is called usabeards.com. So if you're new here, we unbox, we wear, we review all sorts of beard stuff. Beard oil, beard balms, beard conditioners, beard shampoo, beard soaps, beard butters, beard tips, tricks, and all the above. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Everybody make sure you have that bell hit so you know when these videos come out because I'm random. I, I just have random times that I decide to launch videos sometimes. You know you're getting one Monday, you know you're getting one Friday, but you just never know what time of day because, hey, life happens and so does editing. So to, in order to get these to you as fast and fresh as possible, straight out my sniffer, I like to record these reviews Friday morning and upload them Friday for your viewing pleasure. So we're gonna dig into usabeers.com and all the stuff they sent me, give you my thoughts and opinions on them and then you can make your own opinion on USA Beards based off of my recommendations and my thoughts. And we're gonna get into that right now. So USA Beards, I saw them on uh, Instagram, I believe it was a while back. I jumped in, followed them, saw they were doing a live stream, jumped in there, I was like, Hey, these guys are kind of cool. So you got a company out of Ohio, and it's run by father, son, and nephew. And the nephew, Beef, they call him Beef. I hope he likes ribeyes, because they call him Beef. And he gets on Instagram, and he's like super energetic and fast-talking and, and just kind of fun to sit and watch and, and chat with. He's, he's liking to promote their products and talk about these specials they have and they have something on Wednesdays that he usually does where he talks about some crazy specials that usabeards.com does uh, and it's all just fun and and super passionate is what I got out of it so I decided you know what I need to go purchase some of this special stuff that they have and do a review on it so I went to their website super cool website bought some stuff from them got it shipped out and decided to do a review so I did the unboxing on Monday, and you can go ahead and go back and look at that if you'd like. i show you how they package it and what I all got from them. And then I sat down and had a phone call with the owner out of Ohio, and we sat on the phone for like an hour and a half. If you guys all think I'm long-winded, man, he can talk. And it was pretty fun conversation. We tossed things back around. I told him some things that I think they could approve upon. Um, in the unboxing and over the phone and he he kind of agreed with me on some of those things so he told me a little bit more about their beard journeys and their company and they are just a bearded family and in fact he actually shaved off his beard once and his wife told him to grow it back so it's a bearded family at heart and they needed some pri uh, products in their price range that they could put up in their beard and feel good and decided you know what let's use our marketing talents and our skills and previous entrepreneurships to start our own beard company and boy have they they started an amazing company that is dabbling in a little bit more than just beard products so obviously you could probably tell by the name of the company that they're pretty patriotic and they have a crazy passion to make people happy so a lot of times they're checking around just to see what you think how you feel because they genuinely just care about people and making the people happy so I got sent out to me some beard oil, some beard balm, some soap, a shirt, some coffee. We got the whole kit and caboodle from them, and I am going to give you my thoughts right now. So we rank everything based off of a scale that I have written down on a sheet, and we start with the oils. So in the oils here, you have a very gorgeous label here. I absolutely love this label. It's very vintage uh, looking, very patriotic. You can tell what it is. And you got an amber bottle here. So I absolutely enjoy this label. I think it's really neat, really creative. You can tell somebody has a little bit of marketing design um, in the family. So this particular scent is The Legend. And The Legend is vanilla, citrus, cinnamon, 
and spicy bourbon. And it is so good. I don't know. this. I said in the unboxing that it kind of smells like bubble gum to me. It still kind of does. I don't know what it is. But you get a nice little cinnamon kick when it gets in your beard. And I really, really enjoy that. You also have a classic uh, barbershop scent from them. And re realistically, whoa, almost dropped it. Oh, that could have been a catastrophe. Let me get a better grip on it here. All right, so with this same label, it's super cool design. I, I can't get over these labels. With the barbershop scent, it's just a super clean scent that's going to make you feel... I mean, you get the barbershop. Like, this isn't your normal barbershop scent, I don't feel like. I feel like when I smell this, I can imagine myself sitting in the chair, getting some spray sprayed on my hair, and getting ready, uh, freshening up right after that clean uh, buzz shave. And then we have one called Gold Metal, and they had the special on this one. Uh, that's what kind of made me jump on. I heard Oud. I was like, Oud, oh my gosh, I gotta jump on that. It's called Gold Metal. That's genius. That makes so much sense. And when I get this, Honestly, I don't like this. This is not my style of oud. And what this is, is it's oud, uh, just straight up oud. There's no nothing to sweeten it in there or anything like that. So if you like that like tang of oud and just that straight oud smell, you're going to like this gold metal. Uh, for me, I don't like just the straight up oud. I like a little bit of something like some amber or some vanilla in there to sweeten it up. But that's my personal preference. If you like just straight up oud, that's what you're going to get from Gold Metal. It is just straight up oud. Just oud. And like they say on their website, you either love oud or you hate it. And I'm one that loves it when it's sweetened up a little bit. This isn't sweetened really at all. So again, you still have that really, really nice label on here. we got a nice consistent theme going across the board. Um, and that one's Gold Metal. And then we have Bourbon Barrel. And this was probably my favorite out of all of them. And Bourbon Barrel... Uh, like I said, it just smells just like bourbon, um, like caramel. And when you look at the scent profile, it's bourbon and caramel. And it just smells oh so good. These scents are so amazing as far as length and beard. These are all day scents. And I ranked them the highest you can rank on scent strength because they don't hit you in the face and give you a headache when you put them in or uh, wear them. But seven, nine hours later, you you can still get the whiff of uh, whiskey and caramel from this or bourbon and caramel. And I got that as well with the legend. And that's something that I really thrive on because at the, I get up at four in the morning, get my oil put up in my beard. And I, I want to smell it when I'm going to bed at night or still kind of smell it when I'm getting ready for bed at night. So usabeards.com, hit that up with these scent profiles. And these are these scent profiles are going in on a base of carrier oils. Now, these carrier oils, they have the philosophy that they want to find a mixture that works the best in their beard. And they've mixed tons of different ones around. And they came up with a carrier oil blend of nine carrier oils. And those carrier oils are argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil. You know I love apricot kernel oil. Apricot kernel oil is so good in my beard. My beard just soaks it up. If you've never tried apricot kernel oil, you got to try it. Avocado oil, pumpkin seed oil, hemp seed oil, and grapeseed oil. All amazing carrier oils in my mind. Ones that my beard tend to really like. Now there's always the debate on uh, one carrier oil, two carrier oils, nine carrier oils, how many uh, actually effectively can go together. How many, wh what, how many is too many and anything like that. And I asked him about it and he said, you know what? We came up with a mixture that felt good to us and that our beards liked. We didn't want something super greasy. We wanted it light and effective. And this is the blend that they came up with and had good feedback on it. Now I can't say I disagree. I'm no science major or anything. Um, I logically thinking you mix nine together. If you use nine drops, you're getting one drop on there, but the way they mix together Felt good in my beard. It's left my beard soft all week. And to me, that's what really matters is how I feel and how my beard feels, how it feels to my wife um, at the end of the day. So that's what matters to me. So if it's nine or if it's three, if my beard's feeling good and it's healthy, that's what matters. So nine carrier oils in the oil blend here. So then when we rank out here, the oil FRS. So we're going to give them a faithful ranker score. I score them all and then I 
average them out to get the FRS for the oils. And the FRS for USA Beards oils comes in at 9.1. 9.1 on the oils. That's fantastic. The scent duration is what really got them and the feel in my beard. So they have really good scents. The scent duration is great and it felt great in my beard. So now we move on to the balms and we are going to give the balms an FRS rating the same way we do the oils. So when you look at the design, you have this amazing label that's right in par with the label on the oils. I love the label. I think it's super classy and super unique. For me, the downside of these balms and where I dismiss them a little bit is this pull top lid. I don't like pull top lids. I talked to them about it. They do have twist top lids and they tend to like them a little bit more too. So I think they're going to take that advice and transition to the twist lids. But you get a two ounce balm here. And when you look at the balm, it is uh, very white and it is so, so smooth. I, it is one of the smoothest balms I've ever felt in my life. The scent is exactly the same as the oil. There's no carrier, there's no butter or wax smell in the bombs. It comes out super easy, it melts super easy, it's smooth, it goes in the beard nice, it, and it matches the scent from the oil. So the bombs I couldn't really rate uh, much higher. There wasn't much I could really ding off of them other than this pull top. Um, the other bit of advice I had uh, for the bombs is there's no ingredients uh, anywhere on the bomb. So the back sticker, there's no back sticker. It's just a, a tin. So you don't really know what the bomb ingredients are. To me, that bugs me because I don't want to go do my research on the website, right? If I'm just a normal consumer, I want to look what's in my hand, see what's in it, and not have to go do a whole ton of research. So pull top lid and then ingredients being able to be on the tin. Lucky for you guys, I'm a little bit more than the consumer and I did the research, all right? I did the research for you guys, so I can tell you what's in the bombs, and I'm going to do that right now. So you have almond oil, apricot kernel oil, avocado seed oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, grape seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, and hemp seed oil. Then you have essential oils in here for your scent. You have naturally refined shea butter and 100% pure white beeswax. So that's where you get this wonderful white white uh, look from is that white beeswax. And again, I really dig uh, the white balms for some reason. I, I, I don't know what, like white, yellow, does, it really doesn't matter to me what color it is. It just seems like white is always smoother for some reason. I don't know if that's a thing, but it is here, all right? So I, I rate these again off the design, the feel, the scent, the scent duration. Does it smell like the oil or is it different, the ingredients? And the balms come in at a FRS rating of nine, just a straight up nine. So they got dinged a little bit for the twist top and the ingredients, all right? So uh, I, like I said, again, I do believe uh, that the twist top's coming and adding the ingredients on a sticker on the back is super easy. I think that's something that maybe has just been overlooked. It's something that'll happen. I, I can almost promise you they're going to do that. There, there, there can't be a reason why they're not other than it got overlooked, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe there is a reason, but I digress. I digress. Let's move on. Then we have a wash, which is in my shower, but it's a peppermint wash and it comes in an eight ounce bottle. Now it's a it's a fairly stripping wash, but still kind of left my beard uh, feeling conditioned. I think it's kind of confused on where it needs to be and what category. Um, I use it as a wash because it felt like it got me clean. It's got a peppermint scent. So in the shower, you're getting up in that beard. You're getting all that humidity in the peppermint. Clears up your nasal passages and makes your beard feel clean. Uh, I did not follow up with a co-wash. Um, I think once you put the oil and the balm in, you don't necessarily need to. I didn't have a ton of uh, snarls or anything like that. Um, I am concerned long term, like what I need to do, like a deep condition conditioning once a week or every couple weeks if I was solely using that wash all the time. So <clears throat> that's kind of how I felt on the wash. I think it's a um, it's a shake before you use a pretty liquefied wash. Uh, but it smelled good and it cleaned good. So that's that's what really matters in a wash. I don't, I mean, I'm not rating this on a co-wash ability. I'm rating it as a wash. So it, it cleaned, it was fairly stripping, uh, and it smelled good. It came in an eight ounce bottle. I like that. So I'm giving the wash an FRS rating of 8.5 today. 8.5 on the wash, and they don't have a co-wash, so I couldn't even rate that. But they do have a lot of cool things on their site, including bar soap, 
which I did use this week, and it smells so good. The lemongrass one, if you like lemongrass, it is strong. It was almost borderline too strong for me, um, but lemongrass has that effect on me where it could give me a headache if it's a little bit too strong. So, But I did enjoy the lemongrass one. So if you're into like homemade bar soaps, they do have the bar soaps as well. And you can, again, see those on my unboxing and my impression of what those were uh, right away. I would like to see a pine tar soap. Maybe we can get them talked into doing a pine tar soap. So then we move on to uh, ranking the company. And I rank that by their website, their communication, the design overall, the presentation, um, the variety of products. And when you go to their website, it's easy enough to navigate. It's a nice looking website. It's pretty easy to navigate. I've communicated with uh, multiple people from the company, um, and that was fantastic. They're present on Instagram as far as they're doing live streams every once in a while. Um, I've seen them post stuff every once in a while, so that's good. Um, they do have a wide variety of products. Uh, they have oil, and they have a variety of scents. The ones I talked about were just realistically my favorite ones. They have a bunch more um, scents on their site. They have a Happy Hippie one. Um, they have Cool Hand Luke, which is like a peppermint one and named after uh, someone in the family. They have all sorts of different ones. There's woodsy ones. I'm just not into that type of stuff. What I ordered was things that I thought I would be into, um, mainly because why do I want to test something that I know I'm not going to like? So when I order products, I order things that I think I might like um, just to kind of see how their version of things are. So they have a wide variety. I also They also have some balm. Um, <clears throat> they have wash. They have some uh, clothing, gift cards, uh, mystery boxes, things like that. But they also have this right here. So you saw this on my unboxing. They have coffee. I've been using this all week long. As you can see, it's open here. And I think they're still waiting on feedback to know if they're going to launch this for sure or not. Um, my suggestion with this is, A, the coffee is good. I like this particular blend that I had, Sumatra Black Satin. Um, I would make the labels a little bit more like the beard oil. I think the beard oil labels are a, a, a lot nicer and they stand out more. So if we can match these up and just have consistent branding across the board, I personally would really dig that. Take my opinion for what it is. I don't know. I don't have a marketing background, but I've, I've been in marketing. You know, I, I don't. maybe that counts for something. I don't know, does it? So they have a lot of different products. Um, as far as pricing goes, <clears throat> you're looking at $16.99 for a one ounce oil, $16.99 for a two ounce balm. I think it's a little uh, a little high uh, for the market average. You also get what you pay for a lot of times. And I, I'm super impressed with it. I would pay $16.99 again. Um, you can get them bundled up together and save a couple dollars too. So uh, feel free to head on over to the website, check out a scent for you. Um, but if you like coffee, go ahead and comment below because did I mention they're going to have coffee? So let's just get a comment of coffee down below. I mean, geez, who doesn't like coffee? I mean, coffee is amazing. Man, I love coffee. I drink coffee every day. Now I'm just going around. So let me give some a little bit of advice or a little bit of my opinion on usabears.com. Uh, maybe some suggestions. Not only do I like to review products, but I like to give feedback. I like to tell them something that maybe they're overlooking or that they could do different that me personally as a consumer uh, would like to see. So when I'm looking at these bottles of oil and I'm going around and I want to see the ingredients, it's super hard to read. Not that it's not there, but it just kind of got blurry when they printed it or something. And it's, it's kind of like this on every bottle. It's a little blurry. So Maybe uh, just make the print a little bit bigger so it can print easier. Uh, it's just, you get into all this text right here and it's just so hard to read. Unless I'm going blind. I mean, maybe I'm blind, I don't know. I mean, it just looks really blurry to me. And then uh, twist top versus pull top lids would be another suggestion I have. Putting the ingredients on the back of the balm uh, would also be a suggestion. And then uh, unifying the labels across the board so we don't have different labels. We wanna know that our products are coming from the same company, so brand them all the same. Um, I think that uh, we all like consistent branding. So when I look at this on my shelf, it does stand out from all the others, and I like that. So that's something that I consider, because when it comes down to I walk into this shelf, and it's like, what am I going to wear today? Generally, it's going to be whatever pops out of my my face, right? Like, what did my eyes catch? I'm like, oh, yeah, that, that one, that's good. So that's my feedback for them. For you guys... We have an FRS score for the company. 
So you heard the oils, you heard the balm, you heard the wash, you heard the company. So we got four categories that we're ranking out, and we added them up, divide them by four to get a company-wide FRS rating for USABeers.com of 8.745. 8.74. Should we do 8.745? I don't think so. So mathematically, we'd take 8.745. We'd round it up to 8.75. And then if we want to make it another decimal point less, we would round the 8.75 up to 8.8. .8. So I'm going to go ahead and just round them up to 8.8. .8. We're going to give them an 8.8. .8. I think uh, they deserve the 8.8. .8. I mean, this is some quality beard oil, guys. This is some good stuff. I don't know that anybody would really be disappointed. Um, the balm is a lighter hold balm. So if you look for a heavy hold balm, you're not necessarily going to get that with this um, balm. This is more towards the butter line where it's going to give you um, little hold. Uh, but some very moisturizing uh, content in here. My beard this week has been the softest it's been in a long time, to be honest with you. I was thoroughly impressed. So they deserve that 8.8. .8. You can go ahead and check them out. I'll link their Instagram, their website below. Give me a comment below what you think about this review and what scent do you think would be awesome from USA Beards. And maybe we'll just give one away to you guys. So you know how the contests work, right? Make sure you're signed up for my email subscription list on faithfullybearded.com. Got to get the shameless plug in there for the website. And you can also browse around. There's merchandise on there. Um, there's the, all the FRS ratings uh, from the companies sent, that I've reviewed since I started the FRS ranker. So you can see how every company is broken down on the FRS scale. There's also some Amazon links in there. If you guys want to purchase anything, you can use an Amazon link from me. Um, it saves me all right. It doesn't save you necessarily any money. It's just a link you click. You do your normal shopping. I get a little bit of kickback from that, uh, which is nice for me. It helps me support the channel here, um, but not necessarily through here or through through beard companies. It's through uh, people that shop on Amazon, um, and it can help me um, out here with buying new equipment and things like that. So shameless little plug there. I don't like to do that, but sometimes you got to let people know what options are there. If you guys want to help me out, you can just click on a link before you shop on Amazon that easy um, but we do giveaways on the website uh, and we got a live stream coming up sunday night so make sure you guys are all there uh, we're probably going to give away some usa beards you're just going to have to tell me what scent you want and we'll do some sort of giveaway for you guys so until i talk to you guys again soon i hope you have a fantastic friday and a good saturday we're going to see you sunday night right here on this channel on the live stream bring a friend with share this video out and invite somebody new no shave november is coming up we got to bring as many people in as we can. Christmas is also coming up and you know the number one Christmas gift shoppers are the women. So bring the women in to the bearded community so they can shop bearded for all of you. So I'll see you guys Sunday night. Grab your whole bag of coffee. The whole bag of coffee. Grab your bang. Stroke your USA or Canadian whatever country you're in. Stroke your man mane, and God bless you all.